Breaking news, National Coordinator of Tinubu Campaigns Group steps down. Hello, my wonderful people. In case you're not aware, uh, we brought you up to speed yesterday that um, Tinubu 2023 presidential campaign kicked off yesterday in London. In one of the train stations in London, uh, co campaign um, momentum was geared up and started right in London, um, asking Nigerians in diaspora to, I mean, support Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. And now we're hearing, reaching us at the moment, the campaign director in um, Nigeria has just stepped down. Uh, there are reasons to this, and they will be bringing you up to date. Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu has not been in the country for over 70 days now, if not more than 80 days, uh, due to health challenges uh, however the goal and the focus is still to become nigerian's president please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time thank you national coordinator of tinobu campaigns group steps down the national coordinator of Ahmed bola tinobu movement ali lawa sal alewa has stepped down from his position while declaring support for the Tinubu Support Group, TSG. Shalewa, who was appointed BAT coordinator in September 2020, said he has stepped down as a national president of Bola Ahmed Tinubu movement because he wants to join hands with Tinubu Support Group to make dreams reality. AMB Shalewa made this known yesterday during the meeting in Abuja. He said, you all know that in Nigeria, we are into system of north, south, south, north. So what we have been seeing from the previous election is total submission of the people of southwest, especially under the capacity of Ahmed Bolatinobu. So these are the people willing to maintain the unity, prosperity of Nigeria for our younger generation. So we have no option than to rally round Ahmed Bola Tinubu for president. In view of what I stepped down as a national president of Bola Ahmed Tinubu movement, not because of any other thing, but because I want to join hands with Tinubu support group to make our dreams reality. I have never for once in my life doubt that there is going to be any president other than Ahmed Bola Tinubu come 2023. He maintained that he is not joining TSG for any position just because he appealed to its members to support anybody to declare and decide to join and to support the Ahmed Bola Tinubu's movement. So what's happening here is that there are various groups in the Tinubu's movement. Yes, there are those campaign managers. I mean, there are all sorts of groups, yeah, uh, rising up to ensure that Tinubu is elected president of Nigeria. Like Ayla reiterated, um, campaign has started already. Although he's still recuperating, although he's still very much in the UK, but campaign uh, by foot soldiers are already on ground. These are people Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobu has supported at one point in time or another. And so, uh, like the adage go, a new one good turn deserves another. Uh, very soon, we will, I mean, before you know it, December is upon us, yes? And you begin to see all those who, you know, have a political ambition. Of course, there are indications, Mr. A, Mr. B, but nobody has openly declared to say, I am going for president, blah, blah, blah. Nobody has really done that. But once the clock come ticking, 2021 packing up, 2022, is the year of unending campaign because by May 2023, May 29th, a new president, if Nigeria still remains as one, will be sworn in. So there are indications and a lot of persons are fighting tooth and nail however way they can to ensure that they get the people's support. For Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobu, he has, he's making friends, yes? And um, the boys, uh, if you want to call it the boys, that's the people he has helped here and there in their political uh, career are solidly behind him in every way, humanly speaking, to ensure that Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobu, you know, is the man to beat. 
You see, those in, um, in London yesterday uh, started a campaign. They were at the train station. The train station is a busy place where everybody, especially in London, Central, you know, where everybody, you know, you're either boarding train out or in, you know. So, uh, to a large extent, what happens in London gets to almost all, uh, gets to everywhere in the UK because people are like, oh, this happened, that happened. And before you know it, words travel. So, this is what is going on currently. And as Shiwajwa made Bola Tinobo, the campaign team have kicked up already. The campaign has kicked up already. So uh, this young man is jo is leaving one of the arms to join another. Not that he has left Bola Tinobo, no. He's still very much in tune. But yesterday we saw what happened. We saw uh, Northern Governors met with their leaders, you know. And guess what? When the Northern Governors met, the hell did not broke close. But when Southern Governors meet, then everybody becomes suspicious, wondering what did they say? What is the me? I can remember the very first meeting. It was as though they were having a secret meeting, you know, and everybody was wondering what the meeting was all about. Yesterday, we saw the Northern Governors meet, and there was no such speculation. At the end of the day, they came to say that um, where I'm driving at is that there is no, it's not constitutional binding that presidency will be rotated between the North and the South. Don't forget that the Southern Governors in their uh, last, the meeting they had in Lagos, resulted to say that uh, the South should be given opportunity for presidency. It should come to the South. Uh, the, the North, uh, you know, they've been declaring that they have the population. They can win the election, blah, 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 blah. And so, I mean, they declared yesterday again, letting the, North, the South know that they, they are ready to retain power, so to say, inferring from their statement. So these are some of the things ongoing. Uh, these are some of the things happening. Ashwajo Ahmed Bola Tinobu has been making friends all around, uh, particularly making friends everywhere to ensure that he is elected as president. This man has been a senator uh, in the 90s. He has been a governor from 1999 to 2007, which is two tenor. This man has also, you know, um, he, he has been a godfather, political godfather to a lot of persons here and there. And to, crown the ice, to put the icing on the cake, he wants to be president. Uh, I mean, Nigerians, it's about time we begin to pray for new leaders. Uh, you know, we need to pray for freshness because it's all the same thing. Rotation here and there. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.